Hey guys, I want to share with you um, something really important that the Lord has been speaking to my heart about. And um, actually, he's been kind of rebuking me in. <laughs> and I just want to be honest with you, um, you know, be totally transparent. I think as leaders, we, um, you know, it's, we're not better than anybody. We're walking this thing out with everyone, you know. Um, and we're always learning, we're always growing, and that's what I love about God, is that every day, every opportunity, every obstacle is an opportunity to grow. Um, and so, man, he's faithful to keep me growing, and it's not fun, it's not always pleasant, but it is necessary, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but I wanna share with you, you know, one of the things, I gotta be really honest with you guys, that I struggle with is forgiveness. Um, I'm just being real with you, I'm being, as transparent as I can be forgiveness is a tough one for me um, and it's hard especially when you know that people not only are not sorry um, but that uh, maybe they don't necessarily know they need forgiveness um, and if they do know it maybe they just don't care um, those are tough ones for me and I think it's really easy for us to grab on to a root of entitlement um, that this thing was done to me and you wronged me and until you come to me, I'm not going to forgive you, right? Because you need to apologize for this thing. And and while that sounds good, it's really not God though. It's not, it's not biblical. It's not what God calls us to do. And I got to be real, man. I've wrestled with God on that. You know, I'm pretty feisty and I'm, I'm very, uh, my perspective on things and the word of God is very black and white. And sometimes that's a great thing. It's, it's very great. You know, what's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. But grace is tough for me sometimes. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, Allie, how can you sit here and tell me that you feel okay with withholding forgiveness from somebody when I have shown you the ultimate forgiveness over and over and over and over? Like Matthew tells us, we should forgive seven times, 70 times. Dude, that's like every time, all the time, all day long, every day for the rest of your life. That's a lot. And the Lord is very clear about that. You can read at any book in the Bible and you will find a scripture or five or ten about forgiveness. God's very clear that we are to forgive our enemies. We are to forgive those that wrong us, those that hurt us, those that aren't sorry, those that are sorry. We forgive people. How do we do that when we struggle with um, bitterness and offense? Offense is so deadly. I just want to say that unforgiveness leads to offense and offense will destroy everything in your life. Um, we can't hold on to offense. Our battle's never people, it's never personal, it's spiritual. But here's the thing, the Lord is speaking to me about all of this and um, I, think, I think what was keeping me from forgiveness, uh, this is me personally, was I believed that if I were to forgive people, these people that have wronged me, even in the future, you know, people that wrong you that aren't sorry, that that was excusing their behavior, that I was literally saying, oh, you know what, it's okay for you to do this. It's okay for you to intentionally hurt people or wrong people. And I, like I say, I'm really feisty and I'm really black and white, and at the end of the day, it's not okay for people to do that. But I thought that forgiveness was almost like in that situation being a pushover and saying, it's okay for you to walk all over me and you know, I'm just gonna sit here and let it happen, and that's not Allie. And I had to go to the Lord and say, I need you to search my heart in this area because I know something's not aligning with you, so show me what the truth is. And the Lord said, Allie, Forgiveness is not excusing behavior. It's not saying it's okay. Forgiveness is freeing you from the pain of the behavior. Forgiveness frees you from the bondage that the enemy wants to keep you in from the behavior. And that changed my life and I realized, oh my gosh, I'm literally holding myself captive to this thing by um, withholding forgiveness. I'm literally giving the enemy permission to destroy my heart, to destroy my joy, to destroy my peace. I'm giving him permission by not forgiving these people. And the Lord said, it's not a matter of whether or not they're sorry, Allie. It's a matter of whether or not do you want to be free from what they did to you. And I want to encourage all of us that struggle with unforgiveness. I get it. It's hard. It's real. It's not easy sometimes. I'm right there with you. But not only does the word of God command us to do it, it's not about it's not about saying it's right or wrong. It's about saying, I want to be free from it. I just want to be free. And when we free ourselves, we free those people as well for the Lord to work in their lives and their heart too. So I want to encourage us. I'm right there with you. Um, don't let the enemy trick you by withholding forgiveness and walking in offense. It's so deadly, not only to us, but to other people. Ask the Lord to search your heart, give you truth in that. 
to extend forgiveness to those that maybe don't 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 care about it, but they do need it. Okay, I love you guys. I'm always praying for you. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.